everyone. Welcome to A Moment in Time with Taylor. We are going to test out 360 for a yoga scope. I won't really be able to see comments, but hopefully we will be able to outstand the sun for a little while before it starts going behind those trees. <laughs> so we can start off by setting an intention for our practice. If you can get out in the sun, absorb some of that energy, do that. Begin to take some deep breaths in and out of your nose. Feel your shoulders are down and back as the top of your head lifts tall, continuing to breathe deeply. One more breath. On your next inhale, sweep the arms out and up, looking up, and exhale, fold. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Get Hasta Bandha and come back into your plank pose. Coming forward and down. Inhaling yourself up. Take some breaths here. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Downward dog. Take some deep breaths here. Look between the hands. Step or hop forward for your fold. Take some deep breaths. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep it out and up. Looking up. And exhale, hands together at the heart center. Let's do another round like that. Inhale, out and up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, back to plank. Lower down and inhale up. Hello, I can't see comments, but hello, thanks for being here and thank you for the hearts. And thank you for the follows. Let's see if we can get to 20,000 before I leave Hawaii. Hmm. Between the hands, work your way forward and up. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, out and up. Exhale, hands together at the heart center. Okay, so how is everyone doing? 
Hey, Pascal, you like the 360? Oh, hey, One Yoda, Sarah, thank you so much, Sarah. One Yoda is the one who got me this 360 camera, so many, many thanks. And everyone say thank you, Sarah, so we can do 360. Hey, Dr. John. Hey, Katie. <sighs> okay, everyone seems to be doing fine, so. Don't let the mosquitoes, horse flies, or ticks get you. I feel like they're all getting me, but it's okay. Hey, thanks for the super hearts, Pascal. That's the best way to let me know that you like this content. Sending super hearts or going to femyoga.com and supporting me there. Hey, Flying Scope. Hey, John, I'm glad you like the 360. Hello, hello everyone. Ooh, wait, there we go. Hey, thanks for the super hearts. Yes, everyone says thank you, Sarah. Oh, I love it, okay. So, let's work on some more standing postures. And I'm on kind of a hill here, so it's an extra challenge. <laughs> Hello, Karda. How are you? Welcome to the channel. Let's take a nice wide stance. Ooh, I'm going to fall backwards. <laughs> so get that grip of your feet like a suction cup, gripping down through all three arches of the feet, your inner arch, your outer arch, and the arch at the base of the toes and then bend that right knee over the ankle, keeping ribs over hips, shoulders over ribs. Lift your arms up to shoulder height and look over your right hand for warrior two. Inhale, exhale, bring your forearm to your thigh or maybe you bring your hand all the way to the ground, bringing the hand, left hand forward and up, palm faces towards the ground for a nice side stretch. Ignoring the mosquito bite. <laughs> Let me just see if I can find any mosquitoes before we do our other side. It's the best part, right? We're giving back to nature. <laughs> so then turn your right toes forward. Bring your left toes out. Preparing for the other side. Thanks for the love. And then that left knee over the left ankle. So you want to make sure your stance is wide enough that your knee doesn't come forward past your ankle. So make sure you can still see your left big toe. Press into the outer edge of your back foot. Keep some weight in that back leg. And bring the arms out and up, looking over your left fingertips. Exhale, either forearm to the thigh, bringing the arm forward and up, or maybe you bring the hand all the way down, relaxing your neck and face. Come back up, all ten toes forward. Make sure you still have some weight on the outer edges of the feet. I'm actually going to come over. I see lots of comments coming in. Oh, you're playing blackjack. Okay. Anything else going on in here? Dice? Okay, cool. <laughs> and fortunes. Hey, Ryan. Everyone is playing with the egg ball. I love it. Do your yoga. Toes forward. Inhale, arms out and up, strong belly. Exhale, fold forward.
Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, fold. I don't know if this is going to work on the grass, but we can try it, right? Don't do a headstand if you're new to yoga, but if you have a headstand practice and you'd like to try it now, feel free. No. <laughs> it's kind of an awkward angle. Let me try this one. <laughs> I'm like, no. It's like we're leaning. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it here. I don't have the crossover. Here we go. Let's try that. You guys should still be able to follow me on over. Look out for prickers. to eat me. This mosquito is better than me. Okay. Back to work. Uh-oh, bushes. I was getting eaten alive. <laughs> what have so many mosquito bites? Oh. Oh. That was good. Felt great. How's everybody doing on the side of the path? The sun is setting on us, isn't it? Bless. I do it for me too, though. It's okay, Juan Yoda, it's okay. You'll get there. And if you don't want to get there, it's a, all poses are optional. A new Wi-Fi tower. Oh, are you looking at my tripod? <laughs> the mosquito did get me, Trist. How do I do that? Well, it's really a work, you have to work your back muscles, your lower back muscles.
So you start out, let me bring the mat back over. I'm getting it so dirty. That's how you know you're doing good hard work, right? Getting your hands dirty, getting your mat dirty. All right, let me come a little closer so you can see. I'm not gonna actually do headstand here because it's too slanted, but I can show you how you start to prepare for it and then I can kind of see comments. This has exhausted you just watching. Whoa, is that a mosquito? Whoa, this mosquito is coming in hot. Dang. Yes, I finally killed one. I killed one before this broadcast too. Hello, numbers. Hey, James Casanovia. Hello. Hey, Tyrone. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, Jerry, you said you have a question? Okay. Why don't you ask our question, your question, and then we'll get right back into this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm. See this? We have some clover. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Woo. Yes, yoga outside. And 360 at that, you know. If anyone's new, you can look around. You can move your camera around or you can drag on the screen and look around wherever you like. Enjoy the beautiful surroundings. Jerry, I'm going to give a little bit longer for your question and then I'm just going to dive right back into what we were in the middle of. This is cool. Top Gun Mosquito. Well, I, I beat the mosquito. Sounds like we might have company soon. This is cool. Thanks. It is beautiful here, Sarah. I love this so much. I wish I could show you guys the sunset, but I have to go teach a yoga class right after this. So I'll be going to do that right from here, and then uh, the sun will be setting during that class. You can watch upside down. You can. Yep. You can like flip it all the way around. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Thanks, Jesper. Thank you, everyone. Everyone say thank you to Sarah. Thank you, One Yoda. What do you mean, okay, thanks? You didn't ask the question. Okay, Jerry, I'm gonna, okay. Oh, okay, so you've been scoping. Mm-hmm, I saw that last night. Anyone who has questions about scope, feel free to ask me. It might have to end up as a DM just because this camera does get pretty hot. What time is it? Can somebody punch in hashtag time for me if you don't mind? The egg bot will tell us what time it is so I can gauge how much time we have left. My replays show a still with an eye and line through it. It still plays, but wonder why. That normally means that the broadcast is hidden, so if you click it, make sure that you haven't hidden the broadcast, so you can click unhide broadcast, see if that works, and then if not, hit hide broadcast and then unhide broadcast and see, see if that works. Yeah, Paul, you didn't see our yoga practice? Ever have that happen to me? Not without hiding it, no. It's 6.30 p.m. my time. Thank you, Sarah. Ah, I got bit again. Oh, I killed that one on me, though. I got that one. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan, and thank you, Sarah. Yes, thank you, Sarah. Yeah, Sarah is one, Yoda. Thank you, thank you. Oh, <laughs> hello. How you doing? <laughs> Good, how are you? Good. <laughs> All right, so this is how you're going to start out. You're going to come on hands and knees. Thank you guys. Thanks, Paul. Where your replays have an eye on it with a line wide. Jerry, I just answered that. It means that your broadcast is hidden, so you must have clicked hide broadcast maybe by accident. All right, the mosquitoes are coming out in full force. So um, if you can't hear me for some reason, Jerry, just direct message me on Twitter. Uh, I can repeat myself again, but uh, or watch the replay. It just means your broadcast is hidden, so try hiding it and unhiding it and see if that fixes the problem. I have not had that ever happen to me. Oh, you like it, Ethan? Thank you. Give me a follow. We're trying to get to 20,000 follows before I go to Hawaii. At least before I get back. I would love to celebrate 20,000 followers in Hawaii with you guys. That would just be, oh, that would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Ah, okay. <laughs> so from hands and knees, you're going to come down onto forearms. Elbows are right under the shoulders, all right? Fingers spread wide. I'm not, I can't really see comments right now. And you can make sure that your elbows are at shoulder distance. If you cross your arms, <laughs> attack bugs, cross your arms, hands should touch the outsides of your elbows, okay? And then shift your shoulders right over the top of that. And then bring your hands forward. Curl your toes under. 
and lift up just like you do for downward facing dog. And this is how you can build up some strength for your headstand. Then when you're ready to start trying to come up, you're going to interlace, come back down on the knees, interlace your fingers, lowering the hands. Then you're going to lift, you want to do this actually in front of like a wall. There should be a wall right here so that if you accidentally dump backwards, you won't roll backwards. But if you do some, for some reason, roll backwards, tuck your chin and rolling, you know, you, you should be able to, to roll and fall safely, but use the wall just in case. Then what you want to do is you want to lift up before you put your head down. So your head is hanging. And then you put your head right behind your hands, or right in front of your hands, however you want to think of it. So your hands are right at the back of your head. And you want to make sure it's the top of your head that's down. And then what you'll do is you'll just start lifting one leg and then the other. And you won't have those muscles right away. So you'll just have to work on lifting, 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 lifting until it happens for you. Ah, I'm getting eaten alive. <laughs> it's very peaceful, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, let me just see how long the broadcast has been going. I don't know if I can put up with any more mosquito bites. We might have to turn this into a walking scope. <laughs> 20 minutes. You know, the recommended duration on the camera is 15 minutes anyway. We did 30 minutes yesterday, so let's give it a little breather. Let's call that a day. Let's let's close out our practice together here. So if you want to sit up nice and tall, nice and comfortable, however you're comfortable, you, you can have your legs straight, you can cross them, you can be sitting in a chair. Just get up nice and tall. Begin to take some deep breaths in and out of your nose if you can. Relaxing the body. If you'd like to find chin mudra, thumb and pointer finger together, turning the hands up to open up the shoulders and chest. Tuck your chin slightly and continue to breathe deeply. Last breath, in and out, as the bug flies into your eye. <laughs> and then bring your, actually let's inhale, arms out and up, look up. Exhale, hands together at the heart center. <laughs> Bow your chin to your chest. <laughs> Sealing your own personal, unique intention. Honor your perfect body. And then lift the head back center, opening the eyes. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for watching live and on the replay and wherever you're watching this, maybe on Twitter. And thank you for sharing and inviting and what's happening here. I have like weird shadows all over me. Okay. It's fine. It's going to look just as crazy as the thumbnail from yesterday with my giant thighs. <laughs> So thank you, big, big thank you to Sarah for all those super hearts and for the, oh my God, there's a mosquito on. It's trying to eat the 360 camera. It was literally trying to bite into it. Sarah, your, your, uh, your artificial intelligence is confusing even the bugs. The bugs actually think it's a real, it's a real thing. <laughs> Bye, Katie. I love you. Oh, thank you for the super hearts, too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here. Remember, you're all worthy of being loved and feeling comfortable in your own skin. I'm just going to come on up here. Oh, it's the tripod itself. Okay. None of that bell. Bell gesella. And feeling comfortable in your own skin. This has been another moment in time with Taylor. 
and I do three hours of positive content on here every single day to help people reach their health, wealth, and relationship goals. So if you like, give me a follow, and I will see you back later today. This has been another moment in time with Taylor.